We're here, we've picked the route, we're happy that it's safe, we know where we're going to go. Next thing to think about is getting the gear on, where we're going to get the gear on. There can be a little bit of a tendency to try and get up there and get onto the route first, particularly if it's busy and there's a lot of people around. So you carry on walking in and you get a little bit higher and then you get a little bit higher and a little bit higher and before you know it you're ending up on really quite steep ground with some serious consequences. You're not properly equipped to deal with that and then to get yourself actually kitted up, you're going to have to cut a ledge and try and teeter around on an exposed slope. So Joe and I have decided here is nice and flat, we can see everything that's going on, we can see where the other parties are and this makes much more sense to kit up early here so that we've got all the right gear on as we then end up in the steeper ground. Hey, it's nice being able to throw it all on the floor. So this is a real luxury today in that there's no wind here so I can take my kit out my rucksack and pop it on the floor and it's not going to end up over there in America. So th this is quite nice laying everything out and getting organised for the route. It's not always like this. So thinking about the order I'm going to stick things on. I've got my warm layers on now and then it depends on what type of harness you've got as to maybe which order you're going to do things. I've got this DMM harness here so I'm going to get that on first because trying to put that on once I've got my crampons on is going to be quite tricky. The harnesses in winter, getting them high enough is a real problem for a lot of people. We've got waterproofs on, lots of extra layers. You're going to put a rucksack on the top and it's really easy for the harness to, to start to slip down over your hips. So again, luxury today, not having gloves on while I'm doing this. Normally I'd have my big gloves on. But making sure you've got the harness really nice and high, way up, well above your hips and cinched in quite tight so that the rucksack isn't going to push it down over your slidey waterproofs. Pretty key stuff. Keeping everything nice and neat, paying attention to detail, getting it all right first time, trying not to get distracted as you're going through each individual step. Ta -da. So once I've got my harness on, I'm going to think about my crampons. It's very embarrassing getting them on the wrong feet, so laying them out, that's good. I'm just going to make sure I haven't got any snow or mud on my boot that's going to interfere with the fitting. Slide my foot into the toe post there, come down on one knee so I can then see what I'm doing. Nice doing this on the flat here rather than on a big scary slope up there. And then again keeping the straps really neat, making sure there's no twists when you're climbing. You might be doing more precise footwork than just walking or mountaineering. Any trip hazard wants to be avoided, so keeping the straps nice and flat around the boot. Fairly important. Clearing the ice from the heel bail there. Nice positive thwack as it comes up. Just following that strap round, keeping it clean. And then when I'm happy I'm on. Just a bit of a visual check, front and back, happy with that. So the next thing I'm going to do is think about my rucksack. Could be a wee while up there. I quite like my food. So now I've got my harness on and up tight, it's not in interfering with any of my pockets. So I'm just going to transfer a couple of really little snacks into a chest pocket. I think I'm going to take my map out and just clip it into the top of my rucksack so that I can grab it if I need to at the top. But out of the way for now. There we go. And then I'm going to tuck all of the straps and the excess of the bag out of the way so the rucksack is going to be a really neat profile on my back. There's nothing there to catch ice axes, ropes, rock, anything like that. Personal taste now, the next bit. These harness, these rucksacks have got gear loops on the hip belt but there's only one on either side that's not enough for me I quite like to put lots of protection in 
So I'm going to clip the hip bow out the way, round the base of the rucksack, so that it's not going to interfere with the hip bow on my harness. Keeping everything nice and neat just means you're going to have fewer problems. And then, again, I tend to wear it a little bit higher for climbing than I would maybe for walking. That's good. So helmet next. Again in winter, I've maybe got a balaclava, a hat and goggles. You'll see a lot of people wearing a helmet just on the very top of their head where it's not doing any good. So I'm going to open the helmet up, pop it on and then cinch it in tight. So it's winterizing the summer techniques. And then pop that in there. So making sure that helmet is nice and low on the forehead and is fitting well. Great, so... Rack next. So I'm thinking about the order I'm going to use things in. So those are a bit of a just in case, so I don't want them, they're going to be out of the way. Screw gates next, these are going to be for the belay. So again, I'm not going to need those during the climb as such, it's going to be when I'm on a belay, so I'm going to keep them all tucked out of the way. I'll use my rucksack straps. Saves me having lots of kit dangling. Slings then. And uh, slings in winter are really useful. So I've got quite a few of a variety of lengths. There's a screw gate carabiner on each one. So they're all around there, out of the way. Then protection. These DMM offsets are awesome on Cairngorm granite. They are absolutely brilliant. We get a lot of flared cracks here and these will go in where nothing else does so big fan of those at this venue they work well also normal set of nuts as well a variety of equipment is always a good idea you don't just want to rely on your favorite nut you do need a selection of stuff and then I'm not carrying loads of gear on this, it's sort of grade one. Most of the gear really is for the belays, but it's nice to protect the belays if I can. So there's a, a few extenders there, just so that I could pop a couple of bits of gear in, in between the pitches if I need to. Great. 